Last year was my first trip to Africa. Before I came to Africa, I worried a lot, like anybody else. Ah, uh, this and that. This is no good. That is no good. This is not safe. Everything. But I said, no matter whatever you worry, you have to step on Africa and feel it and touch it yourself. <laughs> so I came. I thought it's too late. I, why did I came ten years ago? Africa is a continent full of opportunities. And I was inspired and I said, from now on, every year, I will come to Africa, visit the three countries. So this is my second trip to Africa. And I hope in next 10, 15 years, I can finish visiting 54 countries in Africa, every country. And I came with a lot of friends, business leaders in China, and they said, what we can do? I said, don't do anything. Come here, feel it. Only when you feel it, you will love it. When, when I leave, left Africa last year, I feel like something, something should be done. And a lot of things can be done. And I ask myself one thing, that the day when I start Alibaba, and I told my team, and there is a sentence we remember, if not now, when? If not me, who? Right? So we said, let's come to Africa, do something. And well, this, is, this is why we came. And people say, well, Africa, there's so many problems. Tell me, in the world, there is a place there's no problems? There's no place in the world there's no problems, right? And people say, yeah, Africa is a poor, there's no wealth, but I feel this is, there's a, the best wealth of human beings here. You have a beautiful air, blue sky, and the nature and wild animals. These are the richest assets that the whole world admire, and especially China. We admire blue sky. <laughs> right. You, you know, the, I, I wish I could stay here for 20 days and, and you know, for a whole month here. And I, I visited Ethiopia and Botswana and South Africa this time, and we already start to plan next year which are, what are the countries we want to visit. And people say, well, Africa is too old, but I think this, con this continent is such a young, full of young people everywhere, right? And when you listen, when you listen to the entrepreneurs, the e-founders e in, in Hangzhou, I said, these people, the entrepreneurs in the in Africa, they are the soup first class in the world. I'm not, I'm not telling, I'm sitting from my heart. The way they say the dream, they believe, the action, and the passion, this, this is amazing. I think this land is full of chance, full of opportunities, full of dreams. Entrepreneurs are do the things before everything's ready. There will be no Alibaba if everything's ready. Why Jack Ma? You know, we've, this guy failed again and again for so many times. I failed an examination for university for three times. No money, and my, my, my father, my mother, both are very poor people in the, rural, in the cities. So there's no chance for us. Africa the same. Today's Africa is much better than 19 years ago when we started Alibaba. People was such a terrible speed at that time of using internet. You know, when I started my business in 1994 for the internet, I invite a lot of people say, Jack is telling a lie. There is no such thing called internet. <laughs> I went to register my company. And uh, in the company registering office, people say, what kind of a company you want to do? I said, Hanzo Internet Consulting Company. He said, internet, there is no such word in the dictionary. <laughs> they cannot <clears throat> register the company. And in China was not connected to the internet the day when I registered my company. Three months later, China was connected to the internet. So in order to prove that I was not a liar, I invited TV people came to my room. We waited three hours and a half to download the first front page. <laughs> <clears throat> And that was true, right? <clears throat> and this is say, and, and at that time, nobody believed internet. Nobody believed e-commerce. Nobody believed China would have e-commerce. No logistic, no credit cards. The same question people question asking you now, how can, 
Africa have internet companies. How can you do e-commerce? You don't have a credit card. You don't have a logistic. You don't have government support. You don't have everything. That's the opportunity. As an entrepreneur, we never complain. We make other people complain. We make our competitors complain. We never cry, because if cry can solve the problems, it can solve no problem. We make competitors cry. We make those people who do not believe our dreams cry. In my apartment, when we started, 18 founders, and we aim high, we have a dream. We say, we want to make, become the top 10 internet companies or websites in the world. Guys, at that time, we are ranking several million names. Or is it want to be number 10, or the top 10 of the world. We want to make this company last 102 years, and we don't know where is our pay next month. Well, when you are poor, if you have a dreams, you never feel poor. You know what we are doing. So after, we never say we will, be, we will win next year or we win tomorrow. We say we will win in 10, 20 years. 19 years passed. Today, we are the top 10 websites, com internet companies in the world. Right? <clears throat> and 19 years, pa 90 years passed. Today, we never think, we never expect that Alibaba business, Alibaba companies, just e-commerce without Ali and the financing. Alibaba e-commerce, our market cap is 500 billion US dollars. So think about it. Tell me 19 years ago, anybody can say a company in China can be the top 10 internet companies in the world? Or 10 years ago, 20 years ago, anybody can believe a company in Asia could be the top 10 global tech companies in the world? So people here believe in Africa, in 10, 20 years, you will have at least 10, 20 F Alibaba companies. Because if you don't dream, if you don't start to work, this thing will never happen. But if you start to do it, you have a chance. If not 500 billion, 50 billion is okay. <laughs> Imagine Africa, 1.2 billion people. Most people, young people, right? As I heard from my friend, Dr. Katui, you have got 13 million young people graduate from university looking for jobs. These are the resources. When Alibaba started to hire people, we could not hire people at all, because nobody wanted to join a company, strange name Alibaba, right? <laughs> and uh, work in an apartment. And uh, nobody believed e-commerce and internet. So we hired anybody who can walk. <laughs> we don't care. Right, whether you are master degree or bachelor degree, as long as you believe us. So they join us. We start off from nothing. <laughs> it was true. For the first 10 years, it was tough, very difficult days. Because we cannot find customers, we cannot find good engineers, we cannot find any any sort of resource we don't have, we cannot get money from the, from the banks, right? So people say, well, you know, in Africa, we cannot get loans from the, from the banks. Everywhere in the world, the banks do not give small business money. <laughs> right, so we start to be very careful for every, every cent we spend. And the day, the, our first IPO year, year 2007, when Alibaba IPO'd in Hong Kong, year 2007. We had a lot of millionaires in the company. And I asked my, friend, my colleagues, like, we, we have like a 300 people become millionaires. And I asked them, hey, now tell me, you become millionaires because you are smarter than the others? The people said, no, 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 no. We even cannot find the jobs. <laughs> right? Because you are hardworking? Yes, we, were hard, we, we, we find more people hardworking than us. But they did not succeed. One of, why they're not smart? All the smart people at that time, they went to Microsoft and IBM. And headhunting companies came to headhunt all the best guys from us. And we are the people, nobody come to headhunt us. 
We have no place to go. We believe in ourselves. We believe our dream. We work together. So I say, we are the people because nobody wants us. I am the person. Over 30 companies don't want me. Right? So we are the people get used to be rejected. We are the people get used to be saying no from the other people. Why people should help you? People help you. That is unusual. People do not help you. That is very common. <laughs> you should work to earn to be helped. Right? So, in order to encourage my eight, 17 founders and all the people who joined us, I said, our competitors are very strong. At that time, our competitor was eBay. A lot of the eBay guys from, graduate from Harvard. We are people graduate from, no, no. <laughs> I don't want to even mention about the university names. <laughs> We're nobody. But I say, if we can win, if we can succeed, 80% of the young people in China, in the world can be successful. Because we believe, we work, a lot of them have dreams, but they don't work hard. A lot of them work hard, but they don't have dreams. Entrepreneurs should work plus dreams. In this way, we can win. Do not think about your own country. Think about a whole Africa. Think about the whole world. If you only think about your own country, there's no difference between thinking your own country and your own village. The internet connect everywhere. And this continent is very simple. People say very complex. I think it's a very simple. If you have been to Europe, you know how complicated it is. They worry too much. Right, you know, security, privacy, this and that. Before the business is done, they start to put a lot of rules and laws. Here, you have nothing to destroy. <laughs> right? So, this will, the most difficult thing is to convincing a successful people. Successful people is telling you, ah, don't do this, don't do that, you know, we have experience of this and that. We are the people. We want to be successful. We want to create the future. We want to do something that we believed in. So, I think the very important for Africa is create jobs. And the best way to create jobs is to encourage small business. The best way to create jobs is, is to trust the young people. And I talked to the president yesterday evening. We should, every country in this, this world, in this century, should encourage, give good conditions, tax conditions to the startups, not big companies. Right? It's, and he, I'm very happy to hear that he agreed. Because those big companies, they don't need that. We startup need that. If you take tiny tax from those tiny startups, it's just like taking the meat of the mosquito legs. <laughs> You're killing the others, you did not survive. So I, there are this world, there are so many great conditions for big companies. It is time, let's get policies for startups, for young companies. And also I encourage all the entrepreneurs, if you want to start a business, don't think you will be successful next month or next year. Think about at least five years. Because if something can be successful next month, why you? You have a rich father, you don't have to be a startup. <laughs> right? And uh, by the way, don't be discouraged because you have a poor diploma or, you know, graduate from a poor university or low education. Don't worry about that. If you graduate from MIT, Harvard, you will never be entrepreneur. <laughs> right? They can only be the white collar guys. So, as an entrepreneur, you should have the, what is the strategy for entrepreneurs? Strategy is time. 10 years, you compete with the other people, the vision. The world will be there, will be there, 
what kind of customers they need, how we can build it up. If you prepare for five years and 10 years, if you have a good team, and always do before the government do. If you're waiting for government, you have no chance. Right? When government is say, there is an opportunity there, go that direction. <laughs> because it will be too crowded there. Right? This is always... <clears throat> so as an entrepreneur, always ask yourself three questions. What do you have? What do you want? And what will you give up? What do you have? We have nothing. Right? The only things we have dream, we believe, we have a team. And I believe we have the work, time to work hard. And what do you want? And what do you want? You have to ask what the customer want. What's the problem of the society? What's the problem of your customers? And what the team want? Think about what do you have we want and what we give up. If you don't want to give up everything, you will get nothing. A lot of business people, they never learn to focus. If you start up, learn to be focused on one thing, right? Because learn to be focused just like there are nine rabbits on the ground. If you want to catch the rabbit, don't change the rabbit, change yourself. If you want to catch this one, finally you get nothing. So for nine rabbits, don't change the rabbit, change yourself to catch that rabbit until you got it. A lot of things we have to learn. It's a great experience to be an entrepreneur. Life is so cool when you become an entrepreneur. In my life, the day I never write a book for myself. I, I think those people who write books are getting too old. <laughs> my life is just the beginning. The day when I want to write, about, I want to write a book, I'll leave about 1,001 mistakes. And I want to tell my kids how many tough days I have grown through. How many mis silly mistakes I have made. And this is the best experience. This is because it's easy to be good, but it's tough to be bad.